In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the flow inducer fan in a carrier furnace. This is what it sounded like before, and this is the new flow inducer installed. My furnace is a carrier model 58 MCB, and the flow inducer looks like this. The first step is to turn off the gas to your furnace, and then turn off the circuit breaker. Inside the unit, unplug the power going to the flow inducer motor. Remove the four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom, using a quarter inch hex driver or flat screwdriver. Then make a mark on the pipe coming in, and then remove the pipe clamps using a flathead screwdriver and pull it out. There's a pressure switch on the unit. We'll be reusing this, so remove that using a flathead screwdriver with two screws, and then remove the small pipe clamp from the drain hose near the bottom. And at that point, the flow inducer motor should pull straight outward. There's some glue on the back, so it might be a little tough. Pull it out and then thread it out. This is what it looks like behind the flow inducer motor. And this is the old and the new units side by side. I used a Packard unit. I'll put a link to that in the video description. There are some spacers that you'll need to reuse from the old flow inducer motor. So pull those out and put them into the new motor. There's also a plug near the top that you'll reuse. Take that off with the pliers and put it onto the new unit. This is the specifications from the old unit. And these are the specifications from the new one. This was a drop-in replacement for me. There were some bugs and some dust inside. I used a vacuum cleaner to vacuum that out. The next step is to peel off the RTV sealant around that flow inducer inlet. So peel all that out using a putty knife and then apply some high temperature RTV into that groove. Position the new flow inducer motor assembly into there and make sure that it's seated well into that groove and then attach those four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom. Next, put the pressure gauge into its slot and tighten up the two screws. There are two pressure port tubes. Slip those into the notches on the side of the unit and then reattach the drain hose at the bottom using pliers. Next, plug the power back into the flow inducer motor. Slide the inlet tube back in up to the line that you drew and tighten up the pipe clamps using a Phillips screwdriver. This is the installed flow inducer motor. Make sure that you remember to turn on the gas switch and then turn on the circuit breaker. And then you can open the gas valve. To test it out, turn up your thermostat and listen to the unit and make sure that it's installed properly. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and talk to you next time.